Hello, guys. Um, how are you? Welcome to Creative Effects. This is uh, Brombo with you. I know it's been quite a while. Um, I haven't shared the recorded video with you, so I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you um, concerning um, just a few mistakes that you do when you're counting levels. So this is going to be probably our part one um, in regards to levels and the mistakes that you do. So please pay attention as I show you um, what you actually um, need to do. So we're going to be focusing on volatilities. Um, I know of late, um, previously we used to do our videos on uh, currencies and people have been saying, why don't we do them also on volatilities? So I've um, started um, showing you examples in uh, volatilities and I'll gladly say that counting uh, levels and volatilities is very, very easy to do. So um, with me, I've got V25S. Um, I've, I've just opened here, but I'll also open maybe two or three pairs just to emphasize on what I'll be talking about. So the first thing that we all know that I don't even need to explain further today is that we have what we call a market maker cycle. And we all know how a market maker cycle is like. We have level one, level two, level uh, we have level three, level one, level two, and we have level three, level one, level two, level three. If the dealer decides to form a reset right here, level one, then you will go level one, level two, level three. Okay, so this is how we 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 uh, demonstrate our cycling. Okay, so one thing that you need to know. Um, or the mistakes that you need to correct. I've, I've seen, already I've seen a couple of them just by looking at this chart. If you realize we've got an M formation right there, a very perfect M formation where you could have taken your cell set up up until down there and uh, profited from the market. But the mistake that you do is that you... Um, count this as a separate level what do i mean number one i mean that sometimes or in most cases especially volatilities a dealer will come and give you the first leg and maybe end the day in consolidation he comes the second day and gives you the second leg just at the brink or end of the day and then he starts to move on the following day straight away then give you level one and go up this is not level one. This is still level three. The dealer is just still at level three. So he will be at level one after you have seen a visible move away from level three, after you have seen a visible move away from level three. Just like right here, you can see the dealer closed the market here uh, exactly immediately after forming the second leg. And what he did was, you can see this is a small micro M on M15. Then what he did was he made sure that he moved um, from the Asian session and went down. Now, it means that this was still level three. And now, if you want to check carefully, you'll find that after the dealer had reached the, this level, had he closed the market on this day right here, then we would have called this our level one but what the dealer did instead he reversed the same move he did in the morning and closed the market at the same level right there now everyone will think okay now we are at level one but the real truth is that you are still where in level three you are still in level three you are not yet in level one i'm going to demonstrate this again i'm saying that if the dealer is at level three or whichever level, and then he goes up and comes back down and closes the market in the same level. This is not a move. It is not a move. We don't consider it as a move. The dealer is still in the same level because he has come back again in the same range. We can only consider a level when the dealer has left that zone and made sure that he closed the market out of that zone. And to further um, uh, confirm that we see the dealer moving out, 
and making sure that he closes outside that zone. He made sure that he closes outside this zone. Now, this is where we say we have left level three and we are now at level one. I said, please pay attention. Even your EMAs will also confirm that you are now either approaching level one or you are now at level one. There is the 5200 there confirming your level. So this is one thing that you need to understand because volatilities are very, vol uh, very volatile. Even currencies, they sometimes do this. So you need to pay close attention to this. So this is the mistake that you do in most cases because you you mix the consolidations and you count them as different levels, or at least it is one level. Now, after this, you see the dealer made sure that he progresses the move on the following day. Then he went outside the zone and closed the market outside. Now we are saying the dealer is now way at level two. You can see that I'm actually concentrating so much on my first level of the Asian box because it is actually guiding me to see the possible range of a level. Now you can see the dealer went up, broke it, came back in, broke it down there, came back inside, went there and stayed inside, went down there, closed the market outside the level. And I could have called this um, level three. I could have called this level three because the market closed outside the level then the dealer came back again tested level two right there and extended the second leg then he quickly came back during the asian session to maintain the previous third level that he had actually marked then he made sure that he comes back in it forms all the legs that he wanted and made sure that he's in it then he went up and formed level one because he closed the market outside this range so he was now on level one you can see right here he came back right to it again into the same level one but he is now here at level three yet this to me looks more like pick level three reset then back to the to the peak. I didn't say this is a buy. I didn't say this is a sell. Remember, this is not an, anal an analysis. And I didn't say um, this is going to buy or it's going to sell. I am simply trying to show you the mistake that you normally do when you mix the ranges and think that the market is now at level one, while the market is still in the same level. So you don't have to worry about these movements up and downs because the market will always move up and down but always know that if the dealer uh maintains the same asian range that you'd have seen and marked as your level then this the dealer is still in the same level that's why you can see even your 5800 there actually happened during this area here to show you that you are also now at level three just to confirm um what i was showing you you can see even this one actually happened when you were on your level two you can see this one actually happened when you were on your level one so that's one thing that you should see even your your emma's fend out you can see that it actually happened when you were still on your level three so i'm just trying to show you um the mistakes that you